Gentlemen, greetings and welcome back to another episode. Today I'm gonna to talk to you all about why she called me screaming that she hated me, fellas. And this is another subscriber requested topic. And fellas, if you have any scenarios that you want me to uh, cover, send me a DM on Instagram. It's the best way to contact me and for me to uh, see everything you guys want me to discuss. I love talking about these scenarios and it gives me some more uh, good content to shoot. So anything you want me to discuss, definitely shoot it over my way. Also, I know I've been um, taking a bit of a break these past couple of weeks and I've been a little inconsistent uh, with my uploads, maybe like once a week as opposed to three times a week. But uh, I'm planning a, a cross country move. So if you guys have ever done that before, you know it's a lot of work that goes into that. So I've, I've had a lot going on in my personal life, but um, I never miss a Patreon video. So if you wanna make sure you're up to date on everything and you don't wanna miss any videos, definitely come support your boy. Sign up for my Patreon. It's only five bucks. It's like buying a cup of coffee. If you wanna support one time, great. If you wanna support uh, on a monthly basis, great but i'll never miss a video upload on my uh, patreon fellas now back to the topic this uh particular subscriber told me that he got into a fight with his girl based on just some petty bullshit just basically nothing and he tried to walk away although he did say he lost frame at first and kind of raised his voice back but then after that he calmed down, he tried to walk away. She pulled up to him in the car, called him, and is screaming at him that she fucking hates him. And he doesn't really know what to do. You know, he told me that his heart was hurting. And fellas, I get it, because women have a way of just bringing you down and just bringing out the worst in you because they always want to argue they never know when to shut the fuck up they always just want to keep going and going and going right and women are so uh conniving and women are so vindictive and so emotional they do and say things with the sole purpose of trying to hurt you okay do you hear what i'm saying they do these things on purpose to try to hurt you they can't handle all the emotion that they have within themselves. And they, they don't know how to be mature, okay? They don't, they're literally like children, literally, fellas. And if you have experience with women, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. And ladies, if you're watching, which I know some of you are, I say that respectfully, okay? But unless you're a lesbian and you also deal with dating women, then you have no say. But point being, one thing that I've learned is that it's it's truly pointless to go back and forth with a woman. Have we all done it? Of course we have. Have we all gotten caught up in arguments that we shouldn't even be in? Of course we have. Fellas, I'm not perfect either. I get caught up in shit like that from time to time. But you have to uh, do your best to stay focused on what it is that you actually are trying to get accomplished. And going back from a, back and forth with a woman accomplishes nothing. You never argue with a woman. You simply walk away. You, you simply walk away. And this is why it's important to be dating and dealing with multiple women. Because then when one is acting a fool or acting up, you just give her one of these. And you let her go cool off somewhere. Whatever she's going to do, she's going to do. You can't worry about that. Okay? Yeah, but Sean, if I just walk away and then she goes and fucks with her ex and then she's going and doing this and going and doing that, who cares? Why do you care? She's going to do those things regardless. This is what I be trying to explain to y'all, okay? You cannot worry about whether a woman is going to cheat on you or not because half the time you will never know or find out anyway. So why the fuck do you care? Why are you worried? If you catch her, you leave her. But other than that, we're not about to sweat that. Let her go and marinate. Let her deal with her own emotions. Let her realize how much of a fool she just made of herself. Oh, you fucking hate me? Okay, bitch. Well, you'll never see me again. Watch this. I'm gonna be like Houdini on your ass. I'm gonna disappear. You hate who? Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. Why are you blowing me up then? But 
But my guy, you know why she said that to you? She said that to you to try to hurt you, to get up under your skin so that she could be in the power position. Does she uh, hate you most likely? Probably not, probably not. But women only say that they hate you to the guy that they love. Women only say they hate you to the guy that they love. If she actually hated you, she wouldn't be wasting time and energy and emotion uh, yelling and getting upset and going back and forth. This is why an enraged woman you just have to walk away from because it's a dangerous situation because she might uh, put her hands on you. She might try to lie on you and say you did something to her. These women are crazy, fellas. They truly are. They're crazy and they don't know how to handle their emotion. So in any situation with a woman where she's losing her mind, she's calling you out of your name, she's telling you she hates you, you just have to walk away. And if it's a consistent pattern of behavior like that, then she's just an emotionally damaged woman. And you don't wanna be around someone like this. Trust me when I tell you that. You wanna be getting as far away from her as you possibly can. But what you can't let it do is ruin your confidence, let you let it knock you off your square, make you feel like less than in any way. But this is why you can't argue with them to begin with. She starts talking crazy, you leave. Hey, you might have to turn off your phone. You might have to block her, whatever the case is. But we're not arguing with these women um, in 2024. We're just not. If you do, you're wasting your time. A lot of the times, fellas, men and women, we will disagree on a lot of things because they can't understand where we're coming from. We can't understand where they're coming from. They're naturally going to be upset by just the smallest of things and offended. And they get their fucking period once a month. That's why they hate themselves, fellas. That's why they hate themselves a lot of the time. Imagine if your dick just started bleeding out of nowhere and uh, your hormones were going up and down and round and about every fucking month. They get upset and they get hormonal and they're pissed off. And so not only do they hate you, they hate themselves. They hate everything. And this is what makes them so hard to get along with. This is why finding a woman who's just like down to earth and calm and chill 85 90% of the time is just so hard to do. If you can find if you can get 85 to 90% of a woman being chill, you're winning. Because she's going to be crazy them other 10 to 15%. It's just the way it is. But what you don't want is a woman who's 50 50 crazy or even 60 40 crazy. That's too much. Okay? That's too much. I'm trust me when I tell you fellas, you would rather be alone you would rather be single than be in the presence of a whack job woman who doesn't respect you, who tells you that she hates you. Fellas, in any like healthy relationship, a woman is not gonna be screaming and hollering and calling you out of your name and cursing you out and telling you, telling you that she hates you. That's just not gonna happen in a healthy relationship. Now, she may have concerns, she may be emotional, but she's not gonna take it overboard to that to that crazy level where um, she's you know calling you things. If she's doing that, that's a huge red flag. You need to get away from that girl. I know your heart's hurt, but it is what it is, man. There's somebody out there who won't treat you that way. There is, you just gotta find her. The world's big. Maybe she's not in your hometown or home state. Maybe you need to move around. You need to go to a different city. You need to travel more. But what I'm saying is, uh, don't take the disrespect. Don't sit there and go back and forth with a woman. It is pointless. Don't argue with her. Just leave. Thank me later. So remember, fellas, you are the prize. Continue to work on yourself day in and day out. And guys, if you found any value in this video, remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification. Come pledge to my Patreon if you want to support me and get a whole new catalog of weekly content. And fellas, I'll see you all on the next video. Peace. I withdraw on the things I make.
I turn flaws into flawless traits I build tall, never cap in space I won't stop till I hear him say oh, oh.